welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Today I am going to be kitting down one of my round kits. And this kit was from the Advent canvas that I did. If you miss that playlist, I will put that up at the top of the eye so you can go back and look at it. But the kit turned out really well. I do have several drills left. And so what I like to do is keep my drills. Now this is certainly not required. If you don't want to keep your drills, you can just do whatever you want to with them. I like to keep mine just in case I run out of a color. I can check my box here to see if I have that color. And then also um, I might want to change out a color on something that I'm working on. If I don't like a color that um, is what's rendered, I can come to my box and I can check and see if I have it. And this only contains my rounds. I do have another box that um, I keep my squares in. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have some that I'm not going to keep. Let's see, this one I have, I don't have a lot on some of these but I have enough to where I do want to keep them. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out here. I don't have as many rounds as I do squares. I found that kind of funny. 677's the first one. These are sticking together. Right there, 677. I don't have a bag for that one. I'm going to go in later and put labels on all the ones I don't have labels on the bags for. But to save time, I'm not going to do that on camera here. So that's not very many, but it's good because I don't have that one. I really hope that these stickers come off without any problems. I have not done anything with this company before, so so far that was pretty easy. I keep my special drills in a different place, 415, and I just go ahead and if I already have a bag started like this one, I just check to make sure that it's the same color, and if it is, I just put it in the same bag. I don't want to have duplicate bags as long as it's the same color. I don't really care that it came from a different company. I know that some people don't like to do that, but for me, it is perfectly fine. I do have my trash, my little trash can handy, and these are labels are coming off great. Thank goodness. Let's see. I have thirty-seven sixty-six. I don't think I have this one either. Nope, and this is a really pretty blue. So I definitely want to keep that one. There weren't very many colors in this one. It was only 17 colors, but I did not run out of any drills. I came close. I was getting a little concerned but I didn't run out of any drills, so that was definitely a good thing. Let's see. That one came off pretty good, too. This one is a special. All right, let's go to 762. I thought, for the most part, these were in order, but they're not. I do have 762, and that's the same color, so I'm good with it. I want to go through, I'm not doing it anytime soon, but I do want to go and update my box a little bit, change it up a little, make it easier where I can see all of the DMCs instead of having to just go through each of these little cards. But that is going to be for another day. Okay, I need 5,200. 
and I don't think I have any of these. I don't even have a card for 5200, but I know what this is. So I'm going to put these in here. I had quite a few of 5200 left. Those down the back there. I'm trying not to hit you. Yeah, I definitely need to update this eventually. There's, I need to move some around. The middle is getting full and the end is not. Okay, this one is 680. It does make it a little easier when it is in order. But there's not very many. I don't have one for this one either. A lot of these colors I had never used before. I mean, I have with squares, but not with rounds. And some of these I haven't even had with squares. So I think I need to start doing more round kits so I will have more in my container when I'm done. Well, this one's not coming off very well. If worst comes to worst on some of these, I can go through and clean them up with Goo Gone. Um, $37.99. And I need to, I definitely needed to kit down. I do have this one. That's the same color. So far, so good here. I needed to kit down because I am running out of containers. And I really don't want to buy any more containers. I just need to work on kits that I already have kitted up or finish those that have already have already started. Let's see, I have 729. I had a lot of this one left over. 729. I don't have this one either. Hmm. And this one I had to make a label because I had an overflow and I wanted to keep all of my colors together. So I'm hoping that this label comes off. Normally I will use washi tape on my containers. So it makes it easier to, to peel off later, but I did not do that. So hopefully I'm not going to have a problem. Hmm. This one's coming off pretty easy, but I will have to use some Goo Gone on that one because it's left a residue. I have just a few of these, but I'm going to go ahead and keep them. I do have a bag already, so that's good. Let's see what these look like. Same color. That's good. I mean, some of these I was running really close to not having enough, like this one. And my heat just came on in the basement. It is freezing or I would have turned it to where it wouldn't come on. So hopefully it is not too loud in the background. It is just so cold in Georgia lately. 676. It's the only downside. I love my craft room. It is large and it's perfect for me i can come downstairs and my dogs come down here with me because they love it that's they're they have their own little room down here they prefer to sleep down here than to be upstairs so for the most part they just stay down in the basement i don't know why but my collie really enjoys the basement this is her happy place and so she goes in and out between my room and then their little room but the only downside about having a larger room in the basement is the fact that it does get cold down here we didn't have a problem last year but we didn't get this cold weather like this for and i also didn't have a channel last year so i didn't really think about how it might sound when recording I do have quite a bit for 
18. That's almost the same. That's the same color. I'm going to go ahead. This is, I may fill this bag or close to it. Which that will be nice. Okay. Let's see. Oh no. This one may not come off. There we go. I might go. I'll definitely use some goo gone before I use this one again. Um, let's see. 807. And sometimes even if I don't need to use goo gone, I'll go ahead and do it just because just to clean it. Okay, I'm not going to keep 310. I am going to put that one in my container. I'll show you that in just a minute. 3829. Let's see, 3829. I don't have any of that one either. Just wanna get my little bags. I like to keep approximately one bag of each color so when it fills up then I will put that in my trash but I have a trash container it's not exactly trash I put it in a trash container and I give those away um, a lot of my friends that makes cards like to make shaker cards and so they like to use the the drills that I don't need they um, will use those in their cards. And then also I have some friends that are teachers between in elementary um, and in high school even. And so they like to use the extra drills for different art activities for their classroom. And so I just give them away. Once I have a container that's full, then I will just pop them in like large gallon bags and just give them tell them you know take whatever you want and pass the rest around and this last time i had a large peanut container and so that was easy because i just gave them container and all and i just told them divide it out whatever you want keep it you don't want it then you'll give it to somebody else but this time i have a cute little container and so i'm not giving that one away i'll just have to put that in a sack or a Ziploc bag or something. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And then I have, isn't this cute? It's a little fire hydrant. I bought this from Target at the, the dollar side. I thought it was so cute because it's a little hydrant. So I'm going to put these three tins in here. I have plenty of three tins. I'm not saving these because I had a problem with the three tins on this kit. I mean, there was nothing wrong with the actual drills, but there were so many squares mixed in with the rounds, and I just didn't want to have to pick through those anymore, so I'm not going to save those. And then I had some excess 5200s, and I put 5200s in there. And these are a different color. I don't think this was 5200. I got this from another kit, and it was actually not 5200. I had it labeled wrong. And I realized that after, because so I thought that I needed some extras, but I didn't. I had plenty. So I'm not going to save those, since I do already have a good size bag of 5200 in my box there. And then I have these three, there's a couple, two actually. These two were actually ABs, and so they go in a different place. So I will put those in later. So now I have the start of another, another little trash container. This will take a while and more than likely my friends will contact me way before this is full and they'll ask me if I have any extra drills and so I will just pour out whatever I have 
and then keep adding to this. So at least with me, with the ones that I don't need or that I consider trash when I was working on a kit, they don't go into my garbage can, they don't go into a landfill. I'm actually able to donate these and use them. So I'm really excited about that. I hope that you enjoyed this video and possibly this may have given you some ideas on how you would like to store your drills or if you'd like to save them and do something else with them instead of just throwing them away. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please click on that subscribe button. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.